Hello, a uh, bit of a long overdue update. Um, this is uh, scalar breathing. It's about a three hertz uh, beat frequency that's uh, coming off of this. Um, it's like a nested scalar spheres, um, Russian doll style. There's uh, basically one of those inside this or something similar. And uh, the driver is basically ZVS tuned and uh, through a cone coil. Uh, because of the compression that the cone coil gives, I'm feeding one side of it into the SIC, the, the center sphere, and the outside, uh, the bottom of the cone is going to the outer sphere. Uh, there's a rod down the center, which is also connected in uh, with the apex output of the cone coil, and that's also going into the SIC in the center. So the... Uh, We've got nice uh, 180 degrees out of phase uh, waveforms uh, for the center center sphere and the outer sphere uh, top line. That's just the ZVS. So, and the bottom is the uh, um, just the inductive pickup around the cone. Um, I've got um, a probe here I made for um, for my spectrum analyzer and. Uh, um, I was kind of instructed to look for a low point in the uh, out, the uh, sensing from the coil, from the spheres, and I've kind of got that there. And all those are harmonics. They're just multiples of the uh, base frequency, which is about 152 um, kilocycles. So it's all being fed by... Um, I made one of Sean's ZVSs, the one that's self-oscillating. It works really well and um, just tuned it up accordingly. Hardly any input, it's about nine, just under 10 volts, half an amp. It's been running for a couple of hours. It's not overheating at all. And um, yeah, it all seems really stable. Yeah, cool. Anyway, next stage would be to enclose it with these. And these are kind of um, field gradient modulators for the system. I've just been waiting for it to breathe properly, scalarly, to be able to move forward. And I find that today, which is great. Thanks.